Suppose one ought to enjoy oneself in Parliament when one meets both parties as I do. But I'm miserable, poor, broken-hearted fool that I am. Oh, Phyllis! Phyllis! Yes? Phyllis! Oh, or should I say, uh, my lady? I've not yet been informed which title your ladyship is pleased to select. I... I haven't quite decided yet. You see, I have no mother to advise me. Uh, no, I have. Yes, a young mother. Uh, not very. A couple of centuries or so. Oh, she wears well. Uh, she does. She's a fairy. Uh, I beg your pardon. A what? Oh, I've no longer any reason to hide the fact she's a fairy. A fairy? Well, but that would account for a good many things. <laughs> then I suppose you're a fairy. I'm half a fairy. Which half? The upper half, down to the waistcoat. <gasps> Dear me, there's nothing to show it. Uh, don't, don't do that. But why didn't you tell me this before? I thought you would take a dislike to me, but seeing as it's all off, you may as well know the truth. I'm only half a mortal. But I'd rather have half a mortal I do love than half a dozen I don't. Oh, I think not. Go to your half dozen. There's only two, and I hate them. Oh, please forgive me. You know, I don't think I ought to. All sorts of difficulties will arise. You know, my grandmother looks quite as young as my mother. So do all my aunts. I quite understand. Whenever I see you kissing a very young lady, I shall know it's an elderly relative. <laughs> you will? Then, Phyllis, I believe we shall be very happy together. We won't wait long. No, we might change our minds. We'll get married first. And change our minds afterwards. That's the usual course. <laughs> If we're weak enough to tarry ere yeah, we marry you and I, of the feeling I inspire you, may I abide by four peers with flowing coffers, press their offers, that is why. So I think we will not tarry ere yeah, we marry you and I. If 